Okay, it is soft and cozy. I can't, I can't pick a favorite. My hair is crazy, as always. I wanted to vlog for you guys this morning, but it was dark outside, I watched the sunrise. I was in a very long line. I was in a line for a while. Thank God I was at the start of the line. But man, it was a very long morning. I recently picked those up from Airy. They were having like a 40% sale. And I would typically wear this with a dark pair of jeans because it's like that sage green. But I'm thinking for fall, I'd probably wear it with dark jeans, but I don't mind this light on light. Just keep it like light and airy. But yep, yeah, I got this in my usual size medium. It fits pretty well. I still have a lot of room in the arms. It's loose, it's not too tight. It's got this little like faux wrap. And then these are just my ripped jeans from Target. So this is an airy one. I don't know if you guys can hear me too well because of the AC, but these are not tacked. You can roll down these sleeves if you want to. And they are actually like fully stitched there. I like to have them cuffed just because it is really big. I originally wanted a large, but they had either this and extra large in cream or like a gray in large. But I already have a gray from Target, so I really wanted this oatmeal color. So I picked it up even though it's big and it's perfect and cozy to lounge around the house. It's meant to be larger anyway, but extra large is a little too big. All right. Anyway, yeah. Can you see that? This is just your typical little tie-dye t-shirt i think this is the first no i do own one tie-dye t-shirt that i got second hand and it says laguna beach on it but it's very vibrant this is more of a muted one pastel pink and purple and i love it these are really high-waisted i think these are the ones from target i think they are anywhere above an 11.5 rise so the crop on this is great especially if you've got a bigger chest it's not like all the way up here showing your skin. It definitely passes the button. So my, the top of my pants are here and it comes down. So I mean, it's perfect. That's a medium. Funny because in a different Wild Fable shirt, I went and I got a large. So I haven't tried that one on. Let's see how it fits. It's pretty snug. I mean, you can see absolutely everything. But this is a large. The cut is way different from that crop top or that cropped tie-dye shirt. Yeah, this is what it looks like. I don't know, with a cardigan over it though, I don't currently have one right now. With a little cardigan over it, you wouldn't be able to see how tight it is. And I think these are the types of shirts that really do work well. Underneath the cardigan, underneath the hoodie, like I don't like wearing hoodies by themselves. I could wear a, a quarter zip with nothing underneath except for a bra or bralette. But when it comes to hoodies, I usually wear a shirt underneath. Don't ask me why. But yeah, this would be perfect. You guys have seen this shirt on me already, I think, in two previous videos. But yeah, I love the color of this shirt. It's like the rust brown type of color. And I don't know, I really like it. It's a full size shirt, so if you wanted to wear it over leggings, you could. It wouldn't cover your bum entirely, but if you wanted to just front tuck it, you also could do that. You can completely tuck it and it looks really nice. I did that the other day. I'm not gonna do it right now, but I just, I really like this color for the fall. I don't know what it is, but this is my go-to t-shirt right now. I think this is a medium, but I just wanted to say that in my previous videos, there's one of the Target haul. So all this clothes has the price listed and the sizes that I bought, just in case I forget to mention any along the way, I'll try to leave that video linked. So I got this one from A New Day. It is a medium and it fits like a true medium, not like the Wild Fables, how sometimes it's a hit or miss and you need to size up. The sleeve is a little longer than just having this all hanging out. And I've been loving just either doing the little French tuck or front tuck or completely tucking it. I've been tucking it into my um, Hollister skinny jeans. And I told you guys, I don't really wear skinny jeans often, but for some reason, I've just been obsessed with them. I think this color is really nice. But yeah, 
this is like the full length of it I've worn this one a couple of times too so I think I'm really into the browns this fall this is what the crop tops look like this is definitely a size large I switched out those sizes the other one was a medium and it was just a little too tight right here so this just has an extra bit of fabric right around the ribs so I don't feel so constricted it is a little tight well not tight it's comfortable around the arms it's just quarantine arms but um <laughs> But yeah, it's just a little snug there, but I feel like this material, the fact that it's just a tighter crop top underneath the cardigan for the fall would look really nice. I feel like an oatmeal colored cardigan would look really good with this right now. This is how it comes down in the back, depending on right how high-waisted your jeans are. I don't know if you guys want to see the blue and the black. So I've got the blue right here. So this is just the blue. And then here's the black. This one's actually just a little more snug than the burgundy and the blue one. I'm not sure why, but that give that I said it had in the arms, this one's definitely just a little bit tighter. Right here on the ribs, it really feels like a size small. I would go up to an extra large in this black one. It's very snug. I mean, it's, it's great if you're trying to keep warm because Man, does it have me sweating right now. I know I didn't mention it, but on that brown shirt before, I just want to say, I had just taken it out of the dryer. I know it was wrinkled. <laughs> anyway, this sweater is by far one of the coziest ones. I thought the airy one was really soft and cozy, but let me see. Okay, it is soft and cozy. I can't, I can't pick a favorite. I thought the other one was maybe softer. I put this one on and I just love it. So this is what the material looks like. This one's cuffed, you don't have to roll it up. And it has this stitching here that's cropped instead of like the one from Airy, but this one's from Target and this one was only $22. What do we got there? Is that a large? It is a large. So it's very comfortable, very cozy. And I'm looking at myself right now. Dude, I love it. I can't say anything bad about it. So extremely quickly, these are the ones from uh, Target. They were $22 and I showed these already in my haul. But this is what they look like. Here are the overalls. The pockets are not that deep at all. But this is just the dog pair. This is what they look like. These are a size 10. I do have a size 8 for them as well from last year. But the hardware is silver. This hardware is like a rose gold. And this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like from the side. I mean, it's a little snug, but not really. I can do whatever I want in these. I'm very comfortable. These are kind of stretchy around the legs. Perfect for moms in the fall. Got a lot of moving to do. I could easily see myself wearing these while doing things around the house with the kids. Those um, overalls were universal thread while the ones I got in a size 8 from last year are wild fable. I also got these from Target but they weren't in the video. I think I found these in person when I went to exchange these tops for a larger size. If you want to look put together, like, you know, nice and tucked in. The only problem is, these for some reason aren't like the size 8. Um, the first pair I showed you guys, the ripped ones, they fit perfectly. They were a size 8, wild fable, and they were amazing. So these, on the other hand, like, can we just, why? Those other ones didn't have that, but these do for some reason. I don't know why, but these are size 12, and... I got the same ones in the dark, but they have some rips. And then I also got a 14 in these same ones because I really like them and sometimes I tend to do that in the size that I'm at and a bigger size just in case or down, whatever maybe. So I may size up or I may size down, I really like it. So these fit very nicely. They don't have too deep of a pocket. They have a couple rips on the knees, a little fraying right here. Again. I don't know why it fits like this. Yeah, the sizing is a little, a little bit all over the place within the Wild Fable I'm noticing, and it's the same problem I had with H&M. Like, it's kind of hit or miss. It's up and down. 
Wild Fable 8 was good for me for a while, and now these are like, you know, gapping in the back, and I don't know. But I'm not going to show you the last one I got, which are these. They're literally, I mean, they're literally the same thing. I just got them in a bigger size, just in case. Although, like I said, these are perfectly, like I have room in them, they stretch. Um, but it's, I've noticed that every time I get pants that I want to be, I don't know why I get pants there, but pants that I want to be loose around my hips, I've never had this before until quarantine, so I've kind of always looked like that. And that, <laughs> that pops out. Um, but if I want it to be looser and kind of straight down, then I'm going to these, just for a looser bit. They are still a little tight around here and don't flare out as much as I would like them to, but at least they're not as tight. So fairly quickly, I almost missed this one. This one's from Target. I don't know, it was probably under 10 bucks. It just says Bonita. Like I said in the Target haul, I was going to get one that said good things are coming. But it was very thin. Like, this one's pretty thin. But the other one was even thinner, and I think it was black. Either black or navy blue. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It has pretty long sleeves. I'm not sure what the name brand is. The brown one I have is good felt. Modern something. But yeah, this is just a cute solid gray t-shirt with some white legs. So this is that green shirt that I picked up from Walmart. I'm sorry if it's loud, again, the AC. And this is how long it is. I've just got it tucked into these pants, so usually it'd be here. These pants actually fit, <laughs> my belly buttons right there. They feel like a mid-rise. These are some pants I wanted in the summer, and my husband picked them up for me, I think, in July or August. Mm, it might have been July. I was on the look for some cheap jeans from Walmart to turn into shorts. My shorts were either here and I have one pair here so I kind of wanted to make my own shorts and he saw them on me. That's what they look like at the leg but he really liked them so he didn't want me to cut them. I'm not into the mid-rise. I thought they were going to be like pretty high for me. Again, they've got the gapping in the back. These are men's jeans. They're 32 by 32 from George. 32 for my waist. I mean, my legs are like a 29. I'd say 28, 29. But yeah, this is really big. But I thought, you know, some shorts for the summer. It would look nice. So he bought me two pair. I haven't worn them though because they're long. And if I had to choose between mid-rise and my high-rise, I'd probably go high-rise even though I used to always wear mid-rise after my first after my second i picked up wearing the high-rise because of a little bit of skin on my belly button but tmi i know but yeah i mean these smell vinegary i've never really had jeans that smell vinegary so i don't know maybe i'll keep them until next year to see if i cut them because i don't see myself bleaching for these too often but yeah now that i've had all this shirt crumbled up here it'd be nice if i look at myself to see what you guys are seeing so i didn't mention i took i said that he got me two pairs this is the lighter one and then this is the darker one i got three other tops to show you from walmart and a cardigan i mentioned in the walmart haul that the sleeves were a little snug but this is basically what it looks like i don't think i would wear these two colors together but i'm really not against it you know i've noticed that autumn is very muted very browns and beige and gray I just want to take a moment and say that I'm definitely not used to the new me. A couple of inches here and there really have made the difference. I may be the same size, but everything is definitely fitting differently. And that's okay. At least for now, I'm trying to learn to accept it. And, you know, it. we'll see what happens. And I admit it, you guys saw a bunch of brown from Target. You guys are going to see two more brown and gray pieces from Walmart. And I've got two sweaters on the way from H&M. And I went with one because they were out of the other one. And then they came back and stopped the next day with the other one, so I picked that one up. They're different in their own way. A pop of color is not bad. So having um, various colors like this, I I really like it. I think I would tuck it in here on the side, not in the front, but, but yeah, that's probably how I would wear it. I'd probably go with this shirt though underneath. A nice little gray, have a pop of color over the top. Love it. So yeah. <laughs> That's what I originally got this one for, was to throw over any of my white t-shirts, my gray t-shirts, or my black t-shirts, because I tend to stick to neutral t-shirts. How many times can I really say t-shirts? I want to mention that this one and the solid green one are size small. I mean, they are kind of snug here, but I don't mind that. But they're really loose here, like 
about a lot of fabric. So I just went with a size small. It fits very nicely. I could just tuck it like that. And this is what it looks like. I really love the long sleeves. I mean, I if they were right here, it'd be perfect. But that's not that much of a difference. So especially for fall, it's like, it's not cold enough to wear long sleeves, but you don't want to wear a really short sleeve or a calf sleeve. So this is what we're going with. Again, if it were right here, I think it'd be like perfect. If this is the worst setup for a try-on, I'm sorry. I know that I've done it in the mirror before, but I didn't feel like doing it in the mirror today. I figured this would be a little bit better and give you a bit of a clearer shot. So sorry, not sorry. At least you get to see what the clothes looks like on. I mean, I'm trying here. Quick side note, do you guys prefer the try-ons in the mirror where you can see like everything from head to toe? Or a little far back where I do it in sections. I could do you guys even further back, but then I'm not sure you guys would hear me too well. So let me know because I like not having, I like to be able to show you guys freely um, from a distance, but I kind of also like the vlog style just showing you, you know, piece by piece in the mirror. I don't know. Basically as if I'm, I don't know, messaging you a video of myself. But let me know what you guys prefer. Thanks. So these are all time and true t-shirts. The green one, the striped one, this one also. Again, a little bit of a higher sleeve. This one's a medium. It comes pretty far now. But yeah, again, all I'd probably do is front tuck. And even if I wanted to tuck the whole thing in, I think that would look really nice. Just pull a little bit out. And yeah. So I've got a short one, longer one, completely covered. Yeah. It's a really pretty brown. For a couple of bucks more, you can get the one from Target, which is very similar in color. Here it is. Mm, not so similar. But one is basically like a, this is like a brown with a purple undertone, and then this is more like a true count. And then this is a gray one. This is also time and true, and this one's a medium. It's pretty long in the back. The sleeves are comfortable. This is not constricting. You've got a lot of room comes down to the front. I wouldn't say to wear it with leggings, but very clean, very neat, very put together. <sighs> AC's on, but it's still hot. Uh, four more shirts and four or five more jeans. Let's go. All right, so this one's from Old Navy. This one's great. I love the cut of it because I don't feel like I'd have to tuck it in at all. I mean, I could. <laughs> it doesn't look bad. But I feel like this is very nice and comfortable for the fall. It's covered nicely, nice and short. This is what it looks like. And then it just has the wild at heart right there with all of this embroidery, which is very pretty. Yeah, this is basically how you catch me walking around my house if I feel like putting jeans on that day. I got the green shirt from Walmart in case I didn't want to wear this one on a specific day. I really do like the black and white detail. I think it's cute, I think it's different, and I also think I can go on walks in this shirt, like still feel put together. But yeah, and this is what it looks like. Again, this one's from Old Navy. Don't know if I mentioned it's from Old Navy, but yeah. A nice high neck. You're gonna have to excuse me for the next two t-shirts because like I said, they came out of the dryer yesterday. So they're a bit wrinkled. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys anyway, just so you guys can have an idea of what they look like, I guess. All the shirts that I got from Old Navy are in medium, except for the blue one I'm about to show because they didn't have my size. I just went with a large and I figured a looser fitting shirt was not gonna be a problem for me at all. So let me show you guys that. Okay, so this is the blue one, nice and loose fitting because it is a large. I mean, if you've got some cute athletic leggings you want to wear, you can. Man, that's very good. If I tuck it in, this is what it looks like, and then it's just got those letters right there with the pink heart embroidered. Tie it up if you want, which will definitely hide the wrinkles right now. That actually looks really cute. And then it just comes down right here if you want, or you can always flip it up. Or tuck it in up to you. I kind of like that look of having it a little bit down. 
And then there's this pink one. It's just got the little tropical image image right there. Because of the shape of it, I feel like tucking it anywhere on the sides would be weird. I could get away with a little sloppy tuck. But I'd probably just wear it like this. Or more than likely, I'd just wear it tucked in all the way around. Yeah, this is more of my look. But with different jeans. Some loose bottoms. And that's how I would wear it. And this one's, I'd have it completely tucked in like a bodysuit kind of, instead of pulling it up what? and over like this. I mean, what? I could. Either way, it looks really cute. I can do here. I mean, there's no shirt that's really helping me out. This would look better under a cardigan, but whatever. We're just, they're there. So we're gonna deal with it. These are my super skinny ones from h and M. I Like I said, I've been obsessed with my Hollister skinnies. These are super skinny, so I went with a 12. Um, there was no way that the eight was gonna fit. And this is what they look like. I mean, the pockets are functional. The front ones are not. The front ones in my Hollister ones are. So if you're looking for a skinny jean with functioning front pocket, I mean, the Hollister ones, if you got a little, you know, curve going on. I don't think these are the greatest. But I feel like with a hoodie and some boots, which is more than likely what I will do on an extremely cold day, I think it'll look really good. These are just what those look like. And on top of all that, the eight won't fit, but look at all this. I mean, I think I can fit two more hands in there. That ain't me. I do fluctuate in weight, especially right now. But usually, as a midsize, I'm between eight, 10, 12, um usually toward the eight can definitely be like within that 10 but these are the ones that i told you guys close and just because they close doesn't mean they fit <laughs> like can we see what can we see me just popping out of these here's what they look like around the leg they look really cropped right now and i think it's because i have them so hyped up for them to close so i don't know if they're meant to be slightly lower appearance I haven't been in these because I honestly want to be able to breathe while I'm talking to you guys I set my notifications on my phone to go off for my email again I hadn't had it like that for a while I didn't want to miss anything coming back in stock so they got these back in stock and I got a size 12 because I didn't want to play the does it fit game getting a 10 having to go back they don't have any in the store so I just went with the 12 and I'm waiting on those but yeah um if I do slim down because I mean I'm just being lazy at this point and if I really wanted to lose the couple of inches that I gained I know I could lose an inch and a half of what I've put on in three to four weeks if I only worked out for 30 minutes a day but I I've been busy I've been stressed and I've been a little bit laid back too so yeah we're just gonna wear a size 12 right now until I'm ready to get back into my fitness routine so I just wanted to show you guys what my Hollister ones look like really quick these are the skinnies they're above my belly button as all my high-rise jeans will be it's just what I prefer again I didn't have this before so they kind of look like that but they look like this which is fine I did not have to size up like I did for the um, H&M ones and this is what they look like so I'm really obsessed with them the only difference is these have more stretch than I would like um, I don't usually get a denim with stretch. So this is my usual size. This would be a size 9 from them. I know they have a high percentage of stretch, which is not something I commonly get, but they are extremely comfortable and have been my go-to lately, especially the fact I don't wear skinnies anymore. I mean, it it works. <laughs> I don't do jeggings. I've always been kind of like a jean type of girl. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this because I was starting the H&M try-on portion and I came across a mom jean pair from Hollister so I thought I'd throw that in there too. These are the pair from Hollister. I'm super hot right now from trying all these clothes on for you but this is what they look like. They make your butt look really nice. And these are size 9. Right now with my sweaty body I struggled so if you don't want to struggle size up 
if you're gonna be in and out of clothes but um it doesn't give you too much like see the skin that i try to cover up that's why i wear high waisted jeans but um it doesn't give you too much of an off and top so i figured again if i start walking again or doing some sort of exercise at home i can easily lose this and they'll fit extremely comfortable if not i can always with them a little bit and break them in so either break them in or get back to doing just a little bit of physical activity <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna try on the three from h&m and they definitely fit way better than this pair there's nothing wrong with this pair this pair fits extremely well also look at that little cute distress detail it's just i can't help it i bought them and that same month i just now all the stress got to me, all the stress weight, but my stress levels, I feel like they're going down, but I'm not sure. All right, so my battery just started blanking. I literally only have three more pairs to go. Here are the size eight mom jeans from H&M. They've just got two tears on the knees. Let's get those pockets in there. This is how it makes your butt look. And honestly, on me, they just look like straight leg jeans. Like all this is filling them out. Since I've gotten these and since I've shown you guys the videos, I did have to go back for an exchange. And I went and I got myself one size up, which is a size 10. They still fit kind of um, the same, just a little bit looser. So not really the same. I was trying to go for the loose fit, but they kind of still fit like straight leg jeans anyway. So I don't know how the mom jeans really fit when you've got big hips i'm not sure so these are the i can't even talk anymore by the end of this video so these are the size 10. they fit very nicely no squeezing at all a little bit of gapping which i don't get with american eagle but that's all right these also have the silver buttons the other ones i think it's a silver on top and then it's like rose gold underneath these are all silver hardware and they like i said i think i said they don't have the rips on the knees they're just a solid nice pair of jeans it's not as snug here as the as the size eight it's a little looser down here like i said it's just slightly different but i still think these look really nice maybe to you guys they're all the same let me know if there's one pair better than the other they all start to blend after a while when you're doing a video with multiple pairs these are the loose mom jean in a size 10 the ones i just showed you guys were a size 10 and like you can see this hanging over the top that wasn't happening with the previous size 10 those are the regular mom jeans these are loose but there's nothing loose about them like i showed you guys right here this wasn't happening with the mom jean size 10 loose mom jean size 10 tighter right here kind of the same right here just a little more snug right here and they're both the same size and tapered in at the angle i love the tapered in look but in all honesty these have got to be broken in a little bit at least by half an inch so yeah if i mean jeans i don't know are they meant to be comfortable are they not meant to be comfortable the the ones i just tried on before these Perfect. The eight from Wild Fable from Target, they're great. The size twelves I tried on from Target were great too, except for the gapping. If you're wearing a belt, totally fine. H and M sizing is all over. Not sure why. And I've never had a problem with American Eagle. Target was doing all right until Wild Fable was all over the place. I have one pair from American Eagle coming in the mail soon. Just one because my sizes sell quick, which is usually eight. I got an eight, even though I wanted a 10 for like a looser fit, not like these, but like these. The ones I just showed you guys, these for some reason, the ones without the ribs, without anything, those fit extremely well, but yeah. And then I just got this sweater that I got off of Poshmark for a few dollars. It's loving my eye. Too much? Maybe. Do you guys see it? I feel like there's something right here on the inner part of my eye. It's just this nice ribbed gray sweater. It's a little short right here, but I probably would not wear it with these jeans at all. I'd probably wear it with one of the Target ones just because they're way looser fitting 
than the H&M ones. Actually, I'm gonna do that for you right now. I'm gonna compare a 12 from Target and a 12 from H&M. The light pair in the front, size eight. One in the back, size 12. See that right there, size 12? They're both from Wild Fable. Do you see that? Between the size eight and the size 12, there's barely a difference. So why am I a size eight in these and a size 12? The size 12 are 98% cotton, 2% spandex. These are 99% cotton, only 1% spandex. And the size eight fits way better than the size 12, which is supposed to have more spandex. And then I've got a light pair and a dark pair of the same style pant in the same size. Okay. They're both a size 12. It's upside down. I know. I'm holding them right here. They're both a size 12. Why does this one have so much more space? When I tried these on earlier, I knew that the dark ones fit better. That's why I got two pairs of the dark ones. One in a larger size and one in this size. So then why does this fit smaller? You literally have an 8 that almost fits like this 12, but then you have this 12 that's larger than this 12. Let me know in the comments down below if you kept up with that. And then we've got this top one is the H&M one. We've got the H&M 12 almost matching up to the Wild Fable 12 that's more like the size 8 from Target. So let me try to show you that again. This is a size 12. Sorry. Sorry. Size 10. That's why I was in between. I can't even keep up with myself. Those were both size 12s. And this one was a size 10 that was still slightly bigger than one of those 12s. These are made of the same material, 99% cotton, 1% spandex. And yet the size eight has just a little more give than the H&M size 10. Denim is tricky. It's hard enough finding your size in one brand, but to have that brand be all over the place with its sizing. I mean, like I said, I've got size eight from Wild Fable, I've got size 12 from Wild Fable, I've got size 10. Well, 10 from Universal Thread. But in, either way, the overalls that are size 10 from Universal Thread fit fine. The eight from Wild Fable fit fine. The 12 fit fine because the eight and the 10s were too small, but they gap in the back. Like, there is no winning and then H&M I've had size 8s that are fit fine size 10s that fit fine and right now I have one size 10 that fits better than another size 10 and it's just within the same brand I mean I I don't know what to say they need a curvy girl in the back helping out with the designs or the creations or the execution something something needs to give denim is hard to get right the only place I can't complain about I mean, H&M was up there, but not anymore. I don't, I don't know. I think, I don't know. I mean, they're all right. They're all right. But if I'm going to be paying $30 for a pair from H&M, I'd rather just pay $45 to $55 at American Eagle, which I have had no problems with. Although... The pair that I just bought, I wanted to get them in a size 10, but they were sold out. So I just went with my regular size 8, although I feel like a 10 would have been cool. But the ace has, it's its like the jean is normal, but it's got like a stretch waistband. I'll show you those when I get them. Everything's selling out so quick. If you're going to get jeans, I'd say try Target. If you can't go to American Eagle and maybe stick with that. Target's basically all the jeans were $22. At H&M, you can find them between $20 and $30. And then American Eagle, if you if you happen to find them on sale, they could be $45 instead of $55 or $60. So, just, denim is hard. Do what works for you. Don't worry about the number I've showed you, even within the same brand or the same company. The sizing can be all over the place. The 10 could be bigger than the 12. The 12s could be bigger than the other 12, or the that 12 could be smaller. Like, they're just all over the place. 
if you happen to get an eight and you fit into it comfortably not squeezing out like i fit comfortably into my wild fable eights but not like the balloon pants that were size eight and i had to go and purchase a 12. so i mean 8 10 12 whatever you fit well whatever makes you feel comfortable whatever you know makes you feel good go with that size i mean i'm i'm all across the board i literally showed you in this video medium tops large tops size 8 pants size 10 size 12 i'm just gonna be quiet now bye